Hi you winners, and welcome to something called the shadows that run alongside our car. Now, I don't know much about it, I just know it's kind of a deeper story about two people who are in a car together, uh, but the shadows are catching up. That's kind of what the description says. I know you can play from two perspectives, so from the guy's perspective or the girl's, and there are six different endings. Uh, I don't believe I'll be getting all the endings. I just kind of want to play from the guy's perspective and then the girl's perspective. So let's see what we get, but let's start the game. Whose eyes will you see the road through? I'm going to pick the dudes for now, and then I'll do the girls for the next video. Oh, her. Okay, so let's, let's give them voices. Gun it. I put the pedal to the floor. The wheels screech as we pull out into the lane. The car swerves, but it doesn't really matter. There's no one else here, out here, as far as the eye can see. The abandoned station shrinks behind us until it's gone. And then it's just us, and the long road. Dots. Dots. A world outside the windows passes, us, passes by us in abstract, like the whole world's given up on having any meaning. We drive in silence. After a while, I hear the faint buzzing of the power window being rolled down. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just gonna hurl themselves at the moving car. So it's zombies. Fair enough. Well, that was a thrilling conversation. So, guess this is kinda strange to be asking, after three whole days, but what's your name, anyway? How do you not know her name yet, buddy? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... What is her name? Let's give, let's give her the name that they gave her. Shelby. Press enter soon. Exactly. Shelby. Well... It's nice to finally, <laughs> to finally, to officially meet you then, Shelby. Names. We'll call him Dustin, <laughs> since that's what he was already given. Dustin. Okay. Dad's. <laughs> He's smiling. Ah. The car shuttles, shudders briefly as we rumble over a series of potholes, and then the road smooths again. The humming of the engine reminds me of a storm brewing far off the horizon. Beyond these occasional noises, we sit in silence. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh. Wow, that's the first time she's actually started a conversation. Guess I'm not so intimidating after all. What was I doing? God, what was I? A whole lot of nothing. I bet that sounds super impressive, huh? Just a scruffy drifter. Not so sure she wants to hear that. I... But I don't want to... I don't want to do either! I want to tell the truth! I guess I would dodge the question if I didn't want to answer it, but I don't like bending the truth. You know, this and that. I've never really settled into one thing in particular. That sounds like what you meant. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Mm, yeah. Well, it's really my dad's car. Or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. Ah. Guess he didn't. Sorry. Never mind. It's okay. The booze would have killed him eventually, anyway. Wow. That got dark. Uh, it's getting darker. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Do you think there's any radio stations left? Probably not. I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it wouldn't hurt to look, though. Uh, she's fiddling with the dial. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna find anything. Static comes in and out in waves. Every so often the distortion gives the illusion of an actual sound, but then it goes right back to nothingness. 
Just then, though. Hang on a sec. Go back down. I think I actually heard something. The noise phases in and out, then as something comes into auditory focus... Who's playing music? Is that mariachi? Yes. Aw, they both start laughing. I can't contain myself. The sound is unmistakable. Horns blur joyously over the static in a sick on fanfare, while a man's voice wails soulfully over it. I'm laughing so hard I nearly piss myself. Shelby's nearly there too. That was not what I was expecting. Who the hell's out there running this? Or all the music that would be all <laughs> of all the music that would be left. Man. I sink back into the driver's seat, letting my mind drift to the music. The dissonance is almost comfort. The dissonance is almost comforting. As the fractured chords wash over me, I try to pretend that I'm lounging in a truck bed somewhere. Out in the sun, mid-afternoon, shirt damp and dirty from a hard day's work. For a moment, I almost believed it. The music falls short for a few seconds before starting up again. Wait, is this the same song again? Ugh, oh, it's probably an endless loop. Because why wouldn't it be? Sure seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interesting in DJing. What'd you think a zombie'd even listen to? Is death metal too obvious of an answer? Rob Zombie? Or maybe they're all into baby metal these days? <laughs> baby metal. I don't know, I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I always wondered this, but what are they grateful for exactly? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish they'd let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now, anyway. Well, except for that. I shake my hand at the radio. I shake my hand at the radio controls. So what are you into, anyway? Music-wise? I really like Alanis Morissette. Yeah! Top 40 hits, that sort of thing. You? And don't tell me it's baby metal. Will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that might be for the best. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but... Well, you probably actually judge me more for this. <laughs> Try me. That's... ABBA. ABBA! <laughs> yes. That's... Just as I thought. She starts laughing at my expense. It's a nice sound, though. I'm not gonna be as... I'm not gonna be poetic and say that it sounds like music or anything like that. Still, it's good to hear. Told you. No, no, it's fine. Their music's catchy. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Yeah, so do my parents. That's how I know. Your parents? Sheesh. How old are you, anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. Except for that one. I'm 22. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> God, that's so young. How old is he? She's practically a kid. He's drawn like he's younger. Like he looks only a little bit older than her. What was I doing when I was 22? Still wasting my life, I reckon. Wonder if she's even been to school. That young and the whole damn world's crashing around her. I try not to make a face, but I can see my knuckles going white as my fingers grip harder into the wheel. This music's kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> you should be happy to have it. A sure and optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. I reach down and turn the volume knob to the sharp left, and the radio blissfully goes silent. Farewell, wailing man. Now it's just us again. That's... Did you ever expect things to end up this way? It's getting dark, huh? The sun sets so late in the summer. Sore topic, huh? 
I guess she doesn't want to think about it. I can't say I would blame her. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the streetlights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. Kind of fitting for the end of the world. So you never really told me about what it is you really do. I mean, doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well, um, what do you like to do? Or what did you before everything? Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break, back to work, get off work, eat dinner, and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And then the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That was about it. I guess that'd be most people's story. It's tough out there. Was tough. Probably tougher now. Huh. <laughs> all kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work your damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? That's... Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. Ah. And that's... I used to travel a lot. Looking for work and stuff. Suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Well, that sure is lofty. That sounds really cliche. Not really. Sort of suits you. Dots. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something, you do... You sort of... Lose yourself. Gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point... I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? <sighs> yeah, monkey's paw. I don't think she knows I've noticed, but she's been pressing at her gut a lot. Wonder if she's still alright. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way. And I'm not sure it's gotten much better. We probably should have looked for some more bags of that ginger stuff. Uh, what, is she pregnant? Or maybe she's got her period, I don't know. That's the, that's the first thing I thought of. Ginger, but I can't remember what that does. Hmm. Comment on her hand, what's about her hand? I'm gonna ask if she's nauseous. Still feeling nauseous? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's gotten a little better, but... I'm still exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I do, but... Christ, I'm really not equipped for this. I know first aid. I can stitch up a cut, but... Gastric distress is a bit beyond me. Okay, so it's just internal... Intestinal shit, I guess? You think we should stop and rest? Nah. Like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste gas. Right. The fuel. If everything wasn't so weird these days anyway, I'd call it suspicious that there was only a single tank's worth left. Not much we can do about that, though. Onward it is, then. Only a tank? Dots. She doesn't look good. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought something was happening. Do you ever wonder... Like, why us? Why did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? Huh, didn't I used to. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here. That's what matters. Despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. The how and why of it is just garnish on salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple months I just kept working. Kept on like everything was fine. And then... 
Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want to, but... You're old man. What happened? My dad? Huh. So he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor anymore. So he wandered off to another one. Just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. Great, now I feel like I want to puke. Hey, please don't say things like that, Shelby. One of us has to keep this up. Uh, I don't want to make, like, I want to be reassuring. I don't want to make a move. I'm going to put my hand, uh, yeah. I slide my hand off the wheel. Is that okay? Uh, that's a little weird. That that's, This is a weird angle. I don't know how I feel about that. Her hand is resting by her leg, near the center console, so I reach over. Oh, that's her hand. I thought that was his. I was like, that's really weird. Okay. I thought she might pull away, but she doesn't. Her shoulders fall, and I think I hear her sigh. That's... Wow. Her skin feels really cold. Is that normal? Maybe because the window's open? Maybe it's because she's sick? Really wish I knew a bit more medical shit about right now. Actually, if she had a fever, shouldn't she be hotter? A chill like that can't be normal. It's not even that cold in here, but... We're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would, but we're still breathing. There's hope. <sighs> That's pretty cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get to get on with him, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. Yeah, I guess. It all happened so fast, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. That's... I wouldn't worry too much. There's no way to feel. No wrong way to feel. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long while. That's... I wonder if there's anyone still left out there. I wonder if they're still... S if they're stuck out here. Like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. If the car's clock is set right, it's nearing one in the morning now. The road is as dead as ever was, but it somehow feels even emptier. More sinister. Like all the shadows behind us are teaming up into a hungering mass, just waiting to swallow us whole. My eyes are getting heavier. We can't stop now, though. We've still got so much farther to go. Even if we... Hey, Dustin. There's something I need to tell you. She puts her hand on her stomach again. Latent instinct tells me not to take my eyes off the road, but I do anyway to look at her. She looks real bad. Worse than I've seen yet. A couple times she opens and shuts her mouth. Why do I have such a bad feeling about this? I should have said something before. I wanted to, but I'm scared. I'm still scared. Damn it. God damn it. I should have known it. I've heard so much unreliable crap about the symptoms, but I guess they weren't so full of shit after, after all. I... Hey, stop. It's okay. But I... Just... Keep calm, alright? We don't even really know how this all works, so... Maybe there's a way. Does it hurt? Not as much as I expected it to. I mostly just feel cold and hungry. I'm not even sure if that has anything to do with being bitten. That's what about her hand. She must have gotten bitten in the hand. If it weren't for this... 
I might think I just imagined it. I wish... I wish I was dreaming right now. I wish this wasn't reality. Fuck it all. I thought I was keeping it together. Don't do this to me, kid. I swallow, but it doesn't make my throat any less dry. The corners of my eyes are burning. That's... that's... Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes? <laughs> Monkey's paw, right? I guess sitting in a car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. Silver lining. Psh, retail. Almost as bad as zombies. Worse, probably. I try, but I can't muster up the will to laugh. Anyway, you should sleep. If you want to. We'll probably be on the road for a while. Yeah, you're right. Will you? Will you wake me up if anything happens? Of course. And hey, gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there, at any rate. Yeah, maybe there'll even be a station that plays both Alanis and Abba. If there is or ever was a station like that out there, I'd love to hear it. Hell, I'd love to shake the hand of whoever was running it. This life's too short to not just do whatever the hell you want. But I guess it ain't the time to be waxing on that. I don't know how much longer this tank's gonna get us. Well, ain't much less left to do. Ain't much else to do now, but go until we can't anymore. The road is long, and our course is true. Nowhere to run but forward. Oh no, she's... Oh, that's the end of his! Oh my god! So they just keep driving, you don't know what happens to them. Wow. Wow. So that's the male perspective of the shadows that run alongside our car. Wow. That's some deep shit, man. Zombie apocalypse? Who? I can't even imagine what hers is like. I'm guessing she has a lot more backstory about her dad, probably. Um, but she is kind of turning into a zombie. So that's just kind of sad. Damn. They did a well job. Well job. Oh. A, a really good job at writing this. I like it. I like the personalities they gave both of them. But you guys will see her perspective in the next part. So, if you guys also want to play it yourselves, I'll put a link in the description, as always. It is free to play, but you can also donate anything that you want. And it's got six different endings. I'm just doing one for the guy and one for the girl. I hope that what I got for him was good, because I didn't like, I wasn't an asshole to her. But, I don't know. I don't know how you'd get three either. You only ever have two options. But, yeah. We'll see what her side of the story is in the next part. So, keep winning at life, guys. And I'll see you then. Bye, winner. <laughs>